الحمد للہ وصلاۃ وسلام علی نبی محمد ولا علیہ وصحبہ وسلم ما بعد As a Muslim it's important to always try your best to be consistent with doing good deeds and doing good actions even if it is something small Islam encourages us to be consistent in our deeds so if a person is good with their parents and serving their parents even if it's something they daily serve them a cup of tea for example or they daily uh take out the garbage or whatever the case may be something small but they're consistent and they do it for the sake of pleasing their lord subhanahu wa ta'ala they'll be rewarded and this is considered something consistent and something uh beneficial in Islam and although it is something small but just the fact that you're consistent with it and that you do not uh cease to do this action that you're consistent with doing the action you'll receive reward and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with those uh those actions and Allah the Almighty mentions in the Quran قال قال الله تعالى إن الله لا يغير ما بقوم حتى يغير ما بأنفسهم الله the Almighty does not change the status of a people until they change what is within themselves that's very important a very important principle and something we all often forget that if we want to seek the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we have to do our best to strive to leave those things which cause us harm those sinful acts we have to try to leave the sin we want his reward but yet we're not taking steps to allow those blessings to come into our lives because of our own disobedience and our own uh sinfulness and may Allah forgive us and grant us guidance and forgiveness and make it easy for us to leave our sins amen and as i mentioned that being consistent in one's actions being consistent but in uh consistent by doing good deeds is something that Islam encourages us to do that we should always strive to be consistent in our actions and in this regard in a hadith narration when Abdullah ibn Amr ibn As radiyallahu anhuma qala qala li rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ya abdullah la tukun mithla fulan kana yuqum al-layla فَتَرَكَ قِيَامُ اللَّيْلِ مُتَفَقٌ عَلَيْهِ In this hadith the narration of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam it was narrated by Abdullah ibn Amr ibn As رضي الله عنه who was a companion of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he said that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to him Abdullah Oh Abdullah Do not be like so and so So the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned uh, a particular individual or mentioned someone in general as as uh uh the narrator mentioned He said don't be like so and so He used to get up in the depths of the night and do the qiyam al-layl do the the night prayer This is a prayer that is not an obligation This is the prayers that uh, uh, an individual may perform after the uh the last prayer the Isha prayer the night prayer and this is the prayer this is when a person 
Maybe they get up in the depths of the night uh, any time after the Isha prayer. And they then, you know, perform their ablution and then they pray as, m as much as they like to, to, to pray. This is called the Kiyama Leo. This is standing in the, in the night, the night prayer. So the Prophet ﷺ said, Kana yukuma layl fataraka kiyama layl. So this per particular individual used to get up in the depths of the night and then he left this prayer. Meaning he stopped making kiyama layl. He wasn't consistent. He used to do it on a consistent basis and then he stopped. This is a lesson for all of us because a lot of times when our faith becomes strong, we get into a, a good positive habit of worship. And then, things busy us in, the, in this life, and we leave it. So the scholars have derived some very useful benefits from this hadith on how we can make improvements in our life and be consistent in our worship. And one of the things that they derive from this particular hadith is that this hadith illustrates for us the importance of being consistent in one's worship. Another, and even if, even if a person only does a little bit, even if someone does something very simple, that just being consistent in one's worship, even if it's something small, that this is something great in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is something a person will receive great reward for by being obedient to their Lord, even if it's something simple. But just the fact that they are consistent. They do it on a regular basis. And they don't leave it. And as I mentioned before, it could be something simple like giving charity. You know, a person who gives a quarter every day for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, just 25 cents, something as small as that, or, or whatever is better in the sight of Allah than the one who gives thousands of dollars but they only do it a, a few times. But the other one is consistent in doing an obedient deed all the way until their death. That this person will receive greater reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because they were consistent in their obedience to Allah even if it was something small. And another thing that the scholars derive from this hadith is that when a person leaves an action of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, something that they were consistent in doing, an act of worship that they were consistent. We're not talking about the obligatory actions. We're talking about those extra actions of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, extra actions of worship, extra charity, extra prayer, extra fasting, things like this, extra uh, pilgrimages to, to Mecca, and, uh, and so forth. That when it, it, it shows that when a person leaves those extra acts, that their hearts are busy with things besides the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so this is, of course, a negative thing. That we should try our best, no matter how much we get busy with this life and the things that uh, distract us from rem remembering, remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that we should strive our best to just be consistent. Just be consistent in our worship and... Uh, even if it's something small and simple. And I ask the Almighty to bless us and accept this humble effort from us and that it be a benefit for our souls on the Day of Judgment. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.